So here we are going over some displacement questions. Um, so let's talk about a quick tutorial about displacement. Displacement, we need to know different definitions here. Um, displacement is the change in position. We use usually delta x and it's the final position minus the initial position. The magnitude of displacement would just be the absolute value of delta x, and so that's the absolute value of the final position minus the initial position. And then last we have uh, distance traveled, and distance traveled is sort of adding up all of the positive distance travels, and it's, it's easier with an uh, example. So in A, when I look at the distance traveled, well, A starts at 0 and goes to 7, so it travels a total of 7 meters. The magnitude of the displacement, well, it's it it's actual displacement, I usually calculate displacement first, is its final position, which is 7 meters, because it ends here, and its initial position is at 0 meters. So its displacement is 7 meters, and thus the magnitude of the displacement here is 7 meters also. That's 1. So for number 2, if we look at... Um, for, we're doing all the same thing for A, B, C, and D in this case. So B, for point B here, let's look at the displacement first. That's usually the easiest one to calculate. The displacement is the final position, which is 7 in this case, 7 meters, minus its initial position, where it started, 12 meters, and that's negative 5 meters. And the magnitude of this displacement is 5 meters because the absolute value of negative 5 is positive 5 and the distance traveled again is, is the same because all it did was just go in one direction and stop and so that's 5 meters so for C it's different here uh, in terms of distance travel you see it goes forward then backwards then forward again if I look at its displacement final position is 10 meters initial um, initial displacement was 2 meters Eight meters and the magnitude of this displacement is eight meters absolute value of eight is eight and the distance traveled we have to look at each segment that it travels and, ca and add up the distance it traveled so first it traveled from 2 to 10 so it traveled eight meters then it went backwards from 10 to 8 so it went backwards two meters and then it went forward again two meters sort of the path it went so I add all these up for the distance traveled and that's 12 meters. And so you see, you can see the distance travel can be different, especially when you backtrack. You go backwards and forwards. Okay. So let's look at number four. Following the path in D, we're doing the same thing. So its displacement is its final position, which is five, because it ended right here at five. It started at nine, minus nine meters. So that's minus 4 meters. The magnitude of the displacement would be the absolute value of this, which is 4 meters. And then the distance traveled is, well, first it went, uh, it went from 9 to 3. So it did 6 meters in this direction. And then it went from 3 to 5. So it did 2 meters in this direction. So the 6 meters plus 2 meters equals 8 meters. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I go through a lot more of these exact kinds of problems with much longer videos uh, on my website. It's entirely free. Check out the link in the description below.